In this video, we are going to discuss about first order homogeneous recurrence relation. Let us solve two problems on first order homogeneous recurrence relations uh, so that you will get perfect clarity about uh, uh, this homogeneous first order recurrence relation. Let us solve the first example. Solve the recurrence relation 6an minus 7a n minus 1 is equal to 0 for n is greater than or equal to 1 and given that a3 is equal to 343 here the condition is n greater than or equal to 1 this is first order homogeneous recurrence relation so n value should be greater than or equal to 1 if it is second order homogeneous recurrence relation then n value should be greater than or equal to 2 if it is third order homogeneous recurrence relation, then n value should be greater than or equal to 3. So, there is no problem with this condition. So, what is first order homogeneous recurrence relation? First order means uh, we will have only a n and a n 1 terms, a n minus 1 terms. That means from a n term, we can obtain a n minus 1. So, first order means we can obtain a n with the help of only one term that is a n minus 1. We can obtain a n by using only one term that is a n minus 1. Let us convert this one into first order. Here we have 6 a suffix n minus 7 a suffix n minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this can be written as 6 a n is equal to 7 into a n minus 1. Here the first order homogeneous uh, recurrence relation is uh, uh, let us uh, let us convert this one a n is equal to so this can be written as a n is equal to if we move 6 towards the right side then 7 by 6 a n is equal to 7 by 6 into a n minus 1 okay uh, now let us write one point first order first order homogeneous homogeneous recurrence relation is recurrence relation first order homogeneous recurrence relation is of the form is of the form here the first order homogeneous recurrence relation is a n is equal to c into a n minus 1 a n is equal to c into a n minus 1 so we can obtain a n from only one term that is a n minus 1 so, that is why we can say that this is first order uh, recurrence relation. If we obtain a n from two terms such as a n minus 1 and a n minus 2, then it is called a second order recurrence relation. But here we have only one term is there, we can obtain a n from a, only one term. So, that is why we can say that this is first order recurrence relation. On comparison, if we compare this one the, with this one, a n is equal to c into n minus 1 with a n is equal to 7 by 6 into a n minus 1. So, on comparison, we will get c value as, what is c value? 7 by 6. 7 by 6. Now, let us note down the general solution. The general solution for, general solution for first order homogeneous recurrence relation is, the general solution is a n is equal to c power n into a naught. So, this is the formula. So, from this formula we can obtain general solution for the first order homogeneous recurrence relation. Uh, here what is c value? Already we know about the c value. What is c value? 7 by 6. So, a n is equal to 7 by 6 whole power n into a naught into a naught. Okay. But we don't know what is a naught value. Okay, if we know a naught value, if we substitute a naught value here, then we will get the general solution. So let us find out a naught value. So for that purpose, what we have to do is here already we have a three value. Okay, so given that a three is equal to three forty three, so substitute in place of n. So substitute n is equal to three. So in place of n, let us substitute three. Why? Because a3 value is given. So, a 
in place of n substitute 3 so a3 is equal to 7 by 6 7 by 6 whole power in place of n we are substituting 3 why because 343 is given in the problem if a naught is directly given then we can substitute that value directly okay so 7 by 6 whole power 3 into a naught a naught now a3 is equal to 7 by 7 whole power 3 means what 7 cube means 343 6 cube means 216 into a naught is directly given in the problem uh, i'm sorry here we need to find out a naught a3 is directly given in the problem what is a3 a3 is nothing but 343 a3 is directly given in the problem that's why we substituted 3 343 okay now we can cancel 343 and 343 now a naught will become 216 a naught will become 216 now in place of a naught if we substitute 216 then it will become the general solution so let us substitute that value a n is equal to 7 by 6 whole power n into what is a naught 216 what is a naught 216 so this is the general solution for this recurrence relation an is equal to 7 by 6 whole power n into 216 so it is very very easy okay first we need to convert that one into already it is in first order recurrence relation only but in order to obtain uh, that uh, c value it is better to convert this equation like this an is equal to c into a minus 1 c into an minus 1 so we got c value now and uh, the uh, general solution for the first order recurrence relation is this is the formula an is equal to c power n into a naught an is equal to what is c value 7 by 6 whole power n into a naught a value a naught value is directly not given in the problem instead of a naught a3 is given so uh, so from a3 we need to obtain the a naught so that's why in place of n here we substituted the 3 value substitute n is equal to 3 so a3 is equal to 7 by 6 whole power 3 into a naught so we can a3 means 343 so 343 and 343 will be cancelled a naught is equal to 216 so this is the general solution for this problem uh, let us solve one more uh, one more problem so that uh, you will get the perfect clarity you can solve any problem in the examination solve the recurrence relation let us solve the recurrence relation let the recurrence relation is like this a n plus 1 is equal to 4 into a n for n is greater than or equal to 0 for n is greater than or equal to 0 given that given that a naught is equal to 3 given that a naught is equal to 3 uh, let us solve this problem a n plus 1 is equal to 4 a n for n is greater than or equal to 0 a naught is equal to 3 uh, we know the uh, we know the first order homogeneous uh, recurrence relation that is uh, uh, c n is equal to what is the first order homogeneous recurrence relation an is equal to c into a n minus 1 but here we have a n plus 1 and a n this is also first order recurrence relation only uh, but this is not in this form okay let us convert that one into first order homogeneous recurrence relation we know that first order homogeneous recurrence relation means n value should be greater than or equal to 0 but instead we have n greater than or equal to 0 so that's why uh, in place of n if we substitute n minus 1 then it will become n minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 uh, if we move 1 towards the right side then it will become n greater than or equal to 1 okay so let us substitute substitute n is equal to n minus 1 then a in place of n substitute n minus 1 n minus 1 plus n is equal to 4 into a in place of n substitute n minus 1 so for n is greater than or equal to 0 n minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 so if you move minus 1 towards the right side then it will become n greater than or equal to 1 this is first order homogeneous recurrence relation first order homogeneous recurrence relation means n value should be greater than or equal to 1 second order means n value should be greater than or equal to 2 okay so a, a n, n minus 1 plus 1 means a n is equal to 4 into a n minus 1 for all n greater than or equal to 1 so we know that first order homogeneous recurrence relation is of the form is of the form a n is equal to c into a minus a n minus 1 so on comparison we will get 
C value as 4. C value as 4. Next, we know the general solution for the first order homogeneous recurrence relation. What is the general solution for the first order homogeneous recurrence relation? Already we saw in the first example. An is equal to C power N into A naught. We know C value as well as in this example directly A naught is given. So directly we can substitute that value. So what is C value? 4. 4 power N into what is A naught value? 3. So An is equal to 4 power N into 3. This is the general solution for this recurrence relation. In this way, we can solve first order homogeneous recurrence relation problems.